What would happen if you only had a thousand words to say before you die? Would you stay silent forever? Well, that is what happened to literary agent Jack McCall, who was the main subject of today's movie called A Thousand Words. Jack is a fast-talking and selfish literary agent who has grown into being a habitual liar. He uses his talking tactics to stretch the truth so that he can get book deals. As usual, he uses his sweet words to stretch the truth and get a book deal with a famous guru named Dr. Sinja. He lies directly to the guru's face, but Dr. Sinja is able to easily use his experience to figure out Jack's lies and deceits. However, even after the guru knows that Jack is lying, he agrees to the deal. As expected, Jack was exaggerating everything and he ends up delivering a mere five-page book. During the night, a magical Bodhi tree appears in Jack's backyard. Dr. Sinja comes to Jack's house and they realize that for every word that Jack speaks, a leaf falls from the tree. The guru explains to Jack that the tree has a thousand leaves and for every word he speaks, a leaf will fall off. When all leaves fall, the tree will die and Jack will similarly die. This becomes a nightmare for Jack since he has always been relying on his mouth to make deals and lie to people. He starts losing opportunities and this leads him to try and find other ways through which he can communicate. Jack decides to communicate by writing down. However, he is shocked to find that for every word that he writes, a leaf falls from a tree. He decides to look for other alternatives and ends up using gestures to communicate. Unfortunately, gestures also count towards his word limits and make the leaves fall off the tree. Jack decides to come up with a new strategy. Instead of worrying about the leaves, he just decides to cut down the tree and get rid of it. However, when he tries to cut it down with an axe, a wound appears on his body. With time, things get more interesting. When a squirrel climbs the tree, the feeling magically affects Jack and tickles him. And that is not all. When a gardener attempts to poison the tree with DDT, Jack immediately gets high on the fumes. It starts to dawn on him that whatever is done on the tree is replicated on his body. Even when the gardener tries to water the tree, Jack immediately starts to sweat and perspire profusely. Jack realizes that there is no shortcut to escaping his fate. He therefore decides to start using his words carefully and avoid talking. However, his lack of communication makes his life difficult and full of misunderstandings. Firstly, it makes him lose two book deals that would have given him some good money. Secondly, it makes him lose his job. And thirdly, and more painfully, it makes him lose his wife Caroline and his son. His wife walks out on him because she thinks that his sudden silence is due to him not loving her anymore. To make matters worse, he cannot fully explain his situation to her because that would mean a lot of talking, which would lead to a lot of leaves falling off the tree. And after all, even when he tries to explain the tree to her briefly, she does not believe him. By the way, if it was you and your partner falls silent and says that if he or she speaks, the leaves of a tree will fall off, and when they all fall off, they will die, would you believe it? Let me know in the comments. Back to our story now. Only Jack's assistant called Aaron Weisberger realizes that Jack is telling the truth. The assistant goes to his house to keep track of how many leaves remain on the tree. Jack decides to break the thousand words curse by becoming a better person. He starts giving food to the homeless, but that does not work. He again donates some of his money to charity, but that plan fails too. This gets Jack frustrated and he drinks a lot of alcohol in the night. This causes him to sing a lot, which makes a lot of leaves to fall off his tree. His assistant Aaron sees this and goes to confront him. He tackles him to the ground, which makes him stop speaking, and he falls asleep. Having lost all his faith, and with his life falling apart, Jack goes to confront the guru, Dr. Sinja. He asks the guru to reveal to him how he can end the curse. Dr. Sinja tells him to make peace in all of his relationships, and Jack decides to give it a try. By now, the tree has lost almost all its leaves, and only one branch of leaves is left. First, Jack goes to his wife to reconcile with her. However, she remains hesitant as she does not believe in him. Second, Jack goes to visit his mother Annie who lives in an assisted living center as she has dementia. Annie confuses her son Jack with his late father Raymond. She tells him that she wishes Jack would stop being angry at his father for walking out on them when he was a kid. Her words make Jack realize that this is the relationship that needs the most mending. With only three leaves remaining on the tree, he goes to his father's grave and uses those words to say, I forgive up. With no leaving remaining, Jack suffers a heart attack in a storm and appears to die as a fulfillment of his fate. His assistant Aaron calls Jack on his cell phone. Jack, who is still alive, answers the phone. Aaron reveals to him that the tree's leaves have magically reappeared, and Jack can now talk freely again. 
Jack and his wife Caroline get back together. He buys the family-friendly house Caroline had asked for with the magical tree standing in their front yard. Unfortunately, Jack does not get his job back, which is rather given to his assistant Aaron. With nothing to do, Jack decides to utilize his experience to write a book called A Thousand Words. He then gets Aaron to make the book deal. Unfortunately, after Aaron was promoted to Jack's position, he changed his personality and became a liar, just like how Jack used to behave previously. As a result, Aaron gets his own smaller office Bodhi tree, which is a tiny version of the tree Jack had gotten in his home. And there ends our recap. Please subscribe to support our work so that we can continue bringing you more recaps. Peace out.